Greetings. I want to speak to you concerning how the poor are treated in Christianity. And if you are honest, you would definitely agree with me when I say to you that people who are poor and are involved in Christianity, they have been treated like shit. They have been treated very, very poorly. And they have been discriminated against. And those who are supposed to love without any dissimulation and those who are supposed to accept you just as you are, they're not doing that in secular Christianity. That is why poor people in churches, so-called churches, they don't hold certain position. And the reason why they do not hold certain position, it is because they're not as useful as those who can contribute more. As those who more people in society look up to. That is why they treat them as people who do not have value. But even the Bible says that you must love without dissimulation. But you will never see that in secular Christianity or among any congregation. They will hug you. They will laugh with you. They will talk with you. But deep in their heart, when you are poor and you do not have anything much, you are not being looked upon as being equal and as i would have said before if you've been honest with yourself you would realize the poorest set of people who belong to any denominational uh, organization are gathering many a times they would give up the last dollar and stay hungry and stay broke while the pastor and his children, his family can eat sumptuously, they can get the best education, they can go to the nicest places. And these people cannot afford certain things for themselves and their children. Now, all of that is basically showing you the truth that money answers all things and that money talks and bullshit walks. Also, when it comes to people being in a relationship with man or woman, it's based on your status. No one wants a man who's going to church. Doesn't matter how much he says he's holy and how much he loves God. No woman in their right mind in the church is going to get involved with a man who's poor and broke. And that is the truth. And it doesn't matter how ugly a man is. If he's in church and he has money or he has some work or he's very talented, could play music or could sing. About two, three, four girls in the church and say the Lord speak to them that that's supposed to be their husband. And also when it comes to the woman, it doesn't matter how hard working a woman might be in the church or how faithful she might be. If she's ugly, none of the man in the church going to come forward and say, oh, the Lord is speaking to them and say, that is their wife. And I'm speaking from experience. They're going to look for the this prettiest girl, the nicest girl in the church to say God speak to them and God say that that, that is their, their wife. So I'm saying all of this for people to wake up and realize that you have to put value in yourself so that others will put value in you. And you cannot use Christianity to hide behind your poverty because poverty is a sickness. It's a disease. It's a disease of the mind and it doesn't reflect nature because any part of nature that reflects poverty and lack, it is in a state of drought. But once it, nature is flourishing and flowing, it always displays abundance and prosperity. And if you claim that nature is the creation of God, then God is showing you that he's a God of abundance. But I want to say to you, don't just say God. And do not say who is God. I am telling you that God in man is actually man's imagination. It's your consciousness. Anything you say to me, it comes from your consciousness. Everything that you believe, it comes from your consciousness. But let me end here by saying real poverty is when you do not know who you are. Real poverty is when you do not know your God power. Real poverty is when you do not know how to use your God sense, which is your common sense. That's why you will remain in lack and poverty. And most of all have a, a, a brainwash mentality. So it's time to wake up and know that you can enrich your life by learning to believe in 
yourself instead of believing in some power or some entity outside of yourself. Hold yourself responsible for your thoughts because your thoughts is what is creating your personality. For as a man thinketh in his heart, a subconscious mind, so is he. So if you are in some religious denomination and you're poor, do not believe they really love you. Do not believe they really accept you. And if you're honest with yourself, you know that poor people in church have been cheated like shit. They've been cheated like dirt. They've been looked down upon. So, if you're in that position, I'm saying to you, don't wait till it's too late. It's time to wake up and move on and do more with your life. If you listen to me, you are already on the right path. So with that being said, I want to say peace. I'm out.